video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a Shopify app that converts e-commerce website to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS mobile application. Get an opportunity to grab 15% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. Hey, welcome to Educate E-commerce, your one-stop destination for Shopify tutorials and e-commerce solutions. So today in this video, I'll be talking about pre-ordering and how you can retain your customers even when your products are out of stock. So uh, when some products are out of stock, you can uh, make them make the products available in an immediate notice and also after a few times when the stock is back. So there are different methods that you can use. So you can either uh, ask them to uh, order the products even if you are out of stock and also you can also choose to have a pre-order uh, settings uh, saying the customers that it will be available only after a certain few days. So uh, you can use both of these methods. So we'll be seeing how you can implement those in your Shopify store. So as you can see, this is a product and here this product is out of stock. So uh, this can be of two reasons uh, because of the inventory out of stock and also because of the production less. So uh, to tackle both of these re uh, both of these problems, we'll be uh, having a solutions and we'll be implementing that. So if you like this video, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So uh, let's go to our store and here let's uh, take the product that that is in out of stock. So here we have a unique setting by the uh, Shopify. So here as you go down in the inventory section, you will be seeing that the continue selling even when out of stock. So you can choose that and if you just save it, you will be able to uh, order those order that particular product and uh, like even the products out of stock, you can still uh, uh, have the customers to order that again. So I'll just refresh this page. As you can see here, this product is out of stock, but still you will be able to add this. Uh, you will be able to add this to your cart and buy this product. So uh, this is by when uh, when you can source that product immediately, even uh, without a delay in the inventory. So uh, what if you have your product and that product will be available only after a 10 to 15 days period? So you can make the products uh, pre-order or if you are uh, making a product available uh, in a particular collection which you are releasing, we are, you are supposed to release after a few days, you will be needing a pre-order button. So by default, we can't add a pre-order button, but you, we are using an app to uh, enable that. So for that, let's go to our store. Let's go to sales channels and add a new app. Here, let's visit the app store. Search for a pre-order of app. Let's search for that. And the app that we are going to use is the pre-order now option. So let's click on to that and install this. I'm going to add the app. So you can install it and once installed you will be taken into the pre-order app dashboard. So it is a very simple setting with a very few options and so hence you will be able to uh, configure it very easily. So uh, we have our product space there and we have our pre-order button here. So here uh, what you can do, you, what you need to do is you need to get started uh, with a pre-order for a particular product. So you can just search for a product. I'm going to search for the same product that was uh, that was having uh, the pre-order option. So here in this product, the pre-order is disabled. This is the product that was out of stock. So I'm going to edit this. So here you will be able to see that the inventory quantity is 0, 0. So you can just enable the pre-order for this variant and save the setting. So after saving the saving the settings, let's go to this product in the storefront. So here now you will be able to see that the product is uh, given as pre-order now. So I'm just clicking onto the pre-order option right here and this product will be added to the cart. So this is the pre-order option that we have. So uh, to in, in order to enable that this uh, this particular button, uh, for example, this one, the uh, continue selling out of stock product uh, should be enabled uh, in order to enable the uh, pre-order option. So if you want to do this in bulk, you can just click on to all. You can just select the, all of the products, uh, click on edit products. And here you can just add the field and 
continue selling when out of stock and you can just uh, go and uh, enable all the products that you can sell after uh, e uh, even after the products are out of stock so uh, this uh, this doesn't mean that you have to enable this to all of the products but uh, whichever products is as applicable you can just uh, enable the pre-order uh, option and uh, with the help of the app you will be able to add the pre-order option as well so this uh, this is one setting where you can enable uh, the pre-order option when going back to your home page in the dashboard so here you will be able to see the analytics how many pre-orders are there and how many uh, pre-order product values are there and all of these analytics you will be able to see in the pre-order dashboard itself so next we have another option of all products uh, by enabling this particular option you, you will be able to uh, add pre-order option on all of the products inside your store so all of the product will have a pre-order option when the product is out of stock so enable to, uh, to enable that you can start your 14 day free trial i'm just going to click on the my 14 day free trial to show you how this is going to look like so once your free trial is enabled uh, you can just go to the all product section and here all you have to do is you have to enable this particular setting and save it so that all of the product inside your store is enabled for the pre-ordering when the stock is zero or the inventory quantity is zero so that is the one setting and it will take some uh, time to create the all the pre-order settings for all of the products so again if you want to do a single product if you want to enable uh, for a particular single product you can enable it from here uh, now you can also enable it for particular tags so if you are uh, releasing a collection uh, for example uh, any of the collection that you are going to release and it's there in your website you can just pre-order setting for a tag so you can just click on to new pre-order setting so you can add the tag here you can add the tag whichever tag is existing inside your store for example plants is a tag inside my store i'm just going to say setting so all of the product that has the tag of uh, plants will be enabled for the pre-ordering so you can do that as well so since i have already enabled all of the products it, uh, every product will have pre-ordering but instead if you have a particular uh, settings you will be uh, also seeing that analytics related to all of the pre-orders you can just click on to pre-orders and it will be taking into you to the order section where all the pre-order uh, will be available right here so all of the list uh, of the products that are pre-ordered will be available in a particular tag so you can you will be able to fulfill that once the products are in stock so that's the one thing about this pre-order app then we'll have the settings we'll just go through the settings so th there are default settings pre-order emails uh, styles advanced settings etc so you can custom make your uh, buttons and if you can add the uh, message uh, delivery in two three days after availability is a most common thing so you can also uh, available by feb 15 that's also another uh, pre-order message that you can add so you'll be able to uh, see this in the below uh, add to cart button above add to cart button or how you can how you want to do that it'll be available right there so also uh, if you want to enable inventory management you can do that so yeah, this happens when uh, when your inventory of the shopify is above zero your pre-order uh, pre button is zero uh, will be shown and uh, once the inventory reaches zero uh, the pre-order button will be disabled until it goes above zero so once the inventory value is above zero one two three or any numbers that will be disabled also you can uh, have another option where uh, when the when the when it's zero you will your add to cart button will be shown so uh, this is a very general thing so you can enable it or disable it again with the method one or the method two however that constrains you so now you can also add a badge so like for example if i just enable the badge there will be a, a ribbon or rectangle or circle type badge you can uh, just click on to pre-order available here a badge will be there uh, giving a pre-order available so you can customize this uh, according to your need and pre-order i'll just make it slow small so you can just see that so rectangle uh, circle so this is what it looks like for each of the products
so uh, that is uh, done then you have a pre-order period so you can set the pre-orders for a particular uh, date and start date and end date for particular products so you can also do that uh, again the pre-order emails so uh, if you are placing an email uh, for both of the customer and and the uh, the store friend and you can enable the emails so for that you can go to the email setting we'll just come to that and also if uh, if you are enabling pre-order for a particular product you can also as uh, give your customers a certain discount rate so i'm just going to give a five percent discount for all of the pre-orders that uh, comes in my way so that's that's another thing and you can also get the stock warning when the uh, prevent customer you can uh, prevent the customers from ordering more when the pre-order stock is available so uh, this can be given as five or three or how many numbers that your customers needs you will be able to see that so uh, again if you are if your customers are uh, giving orders of uh, mixed products for example two pre-order products and uh, two in stock products you can use the settings to give them a warning message on uh, how how the cart is a mixed uh, cart and how you will not be receiving the pre-order products in that particular time so that's another thing and there are some other uh, collection as well you can uh, settings as well you can add a collection page uh, for this so you can display badges over the home page or collection page for the pre-order available items as well so that's it and also the cart label so uh, in the cart label setting make your customers aware that this uh, product is a pre-order item so i'm just going to save the setting I have just saved a setting so uh, we were supposed to go to the pre-order emails right so uh, in the pre-order email you can uh, send the email to your customers so how many uh, you can just activate it for uh, your customers on how the email should be there and how it should be uh, like the pro product they ordered is a pre-order product and how uh, you are uh, you will be receiving that product only after a few days you can craft that email right here the price the quantity you can just edit the mail how you want and then you can add some pre uh, frequently asked questions in the email settings so that's about the pre-order emails now for the si styles you can uh, custom make the si uh, style of the pro uh, style of the button the message and also the badge so how whichever color whichever uh, like button text color should match your um, match your theme you can uh, customize it according to that after all these settings let's go back to our product again so here we have this product that is an out of stock so in the storefront you will be able to see that this order uh, is now available for pre-order and it is applicable for all the product that are out of stock in my store so this is a very easy simple app that you can use to add a pre-order option for your collection your upcoming uh, kosher or release or anything and it will help you uh, custom retain your customers and make the customers curious for the products that you want them to buy so i hope you like this video uh, if you like this video give up a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe We'll come up with more videos on Shopify and e-commerce soon and stay tuned. Bye.